now let's talk to Mike Moriarty. Okay, today I'm going to talk about whole body vibration and the effects it has on the brain. More or less, does whole body vibration cause brain damage? We're going to cover that in this video right here. Okay, in the video we're going to talk about does vibration cause brain damage and we're going to go into does the vibration have enough is the machine have enough impact that it can actually cause concussions in the brain concussion means that the brain is being damaged by the movement okay so let's go ahead and get started this video okay here's the thing the brain is made up of like the frontal cortex the you then you have the the um, you have the pons, you have the cerebellum, you have the um, homunculus on the side, your motor cortex. Now, the brain is primarily made of like, I believe 65 to 70% cholesterol. So it's a, it's a lot of fat. It, it doesn't really have, it's not designed to support itself. That's why you see it. If you see like an animal brain on a table, it kind of mushrooms out a little bit because it's soft fat. Inside the brain, you have these these membranes, kind of like trampolines that go like between the corpus callosum, between the right and left hemisphere, there's actually um, like a ligament type structure, like a sheet that goes between that gently keeps the brain separated. And then underneath the brain, you have like these, this, this connective tissue that actually gradually cups the brain left and right side like this. Then you have the cerebellums within there, that's for coordination. Now, if you know anything about axes, you have x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, and y-axis, okay? So, when you put a force that goes on a negative to the positive x-axis, so, so it goes from down to up, so force is going up. Now, the brain was specifically designed for this type of movement. So, these little containers that actually are these little like these little like trampolines in the brain are designed to withstand the weight of the brain and the and the um the the in, the constant impacts of running jumping the brain is designed to like a suspension system is designed to hold the brain together and prevent it from getting damaged that's why when you see people when you jump down from a high area to a low area man you can generate up to 20 30 g force by the constant stop like that now, the thing you gotta remember is that the brain was designed for us to run. Run, jump, and survive with this type of, of forward or backward movement. We're, we're designed for this. We weren't designed to be hit at different vectors, so different angles. Like, so boxers or people that get head trauma, they get hit at this angle, this angle, this angle. Now, this causes the brain to actually go against the skull. And this is where you start getting um, you know, like the punchers get punched drunk, we start getting uh, brain damage and football players. It's from the continuous jarring motions from directions that are not from down to up. So does vibration cause brain damage? No. If it did, then running would cause brain damage. Walking abruptly would cause brain damage. Jumping off things would cause brain damage. This is Dr. Mike Moyarty. It's a short video about does whole body vibration cause brain damage. I hope this helps explain it. My name is Dr. Mike. If you have any questions, leave, the, leave comments below. YouTube wants this. Hit the like button. This is Dr. Mike Moriarty. Thank you and have a great day. Money in some really funny ways, man. I promise you, man, really getting paid. Yeah, show a couple bands like on the Instagram, and nobody getting fans that way. Yeah, well, you really dumb if you spend that on your funds on some clothes and your tape near work. Yeah, you ain't gonna stand if you win a businessman, man. I promise you, the plan ain't gonna work. Yeah, rappers spending money in some really funny ways, man. I promise you, man, really getting paid. Yeah, show a couple bands like on the Instagram, and nobody getting fans that way. Yeah, 